Hi, I'm Tony Keat, the Christmas Light Guy. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up and control multiple relays and pixels on a DIG quad running ES Pixel Stick firmware and how to control it in X lights. Lights, relays, action. Let's get started. I got this idea from one of my subscribers, a guy using the handle RMR Firebug contacted me on Discord and asked me about controlling relays using a DIG quad. I told him I knew it was possible, but I didn't know how to do it exactly, and I would get back to him the next day with some information. I jumped right in and started researching. It didn't take long to realize there are many components and some secret sauce involved. I'm going to show you how to connect all the components to make this happen. The first question that comes to mind is, why would you want to control relays from X lights? Well, there are a number of reasons. Perhaps you want to control AC lights, such as a single color strand of Christmas lights. Or perhaps you want to put your controller in standby mode. This is accomplished by turning off your main power supplies to your pixels and using a small power supply to keep the controller running, which uses a lot less power. Then turn on your power supplies using a relay when you want to use your pixels. Or perhaps power to a standby prop. I'm sure you've all seen the props with the Try Me button at your local hardware store. Push the button to activate the prop. It moves, it makes sounds, it lights up, etc. Simply connect the wires to the Try Me button to the relay and it acts as a button to trigger the prop. I'm sure there are many other uses I haven't mentioned here, but I think you get the idea. In this demo, I'll be using a DIG quad with ES Pixel Stick firmware installed. You'll need a bleeding edge version like I'm running. If you need help installing ES Pixel Stick firmware, don't worry. Just check out my tutorial called How to Install ES Pixel Stick Firmware on Quinn LED Hardware. I will post a link to the latest development distro and some instructions in the description below. But first, let's look at the wiring diagram for this demo. I have a dig quad with a standard Quinn LED ESP32 installed. LED outputs 1 through 4 are connected to 4 strands of 100 pixels each. These are standard 12 volt WS2811 pixels. Next is a 4 channel or 4 port relay board with optocoupler isolation that I purchased from Amazon for about $5. These are mechanical relays. You can also use similar devices with solid state relays if needed. The main power supply for the pixels is a 12 volt 30 amp mean well. The external power supply for the relay board and for standby power to the Quinn LED ESP32 is a 5 volt 1 amp wall charger. Couple of notes here. Make sure you remove the jumper called JD VCC and connect a plus 5 line from the external power supply to the JD VCC pin. This will provide power to the relays instead of the DIG quad providing the power. The ESP32 can't source enough power to drive all four relays. When the JD VCC jumper is removed, the power from the VCC pin is used to use for the optocouplers and the LED indicators. The relay board is a 5 volt board. However, the optocouplers it uses will trigger at about half that voltage. I used a 3.3 volt pin from the DIG quad to the VCC pin to drive the four out optocouplers without any issues. In the firmware setup, output 5 is set to relay and is configured to control the four relay channels using GPIO pins or general purpose input output pins. We will look at this in detail in the ES Pixel Stick firmware setup which is coming up next. I will manually set up the firmware configuration since Xlights doesn't support the relay configuration upload. Now from a computer on the same wireless network as your DIG quad is on, open a browser and use the host name or IP address provided when it connected to pull up the ES Pixel Stick web setup page. My host name is dig quad. So to pull up the interface, I typed in http 
colon slash slash dig dash quad. Here is the Pixel Stick home page. From here, go to the device setup. First, I'll change the primary input to DDP. Next, if you recall, I have the dig quad connected to 100 pixels on each of the four outputs. So I will select output 1 and select WS2811. Since this is the type of pixels I'm using for this demo, it's already set to 100. The default and all the other defaults are correct. So next I will set output 2 to 2811, output 3 to 2811, and output 4 to 2811. Now, here is where the secret sauce comes into play. On output 5, I'm going to select Relay. When you select Relay, output 5 will now allow you to control up to 8 relays. I will be using 4 relays for this demo. So first, I'm going to go ahead and enable my 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 um, channels or relays. I'm going to turn on Pulse Width Modulation on all four. The first one I'm going to set to GPIO 15. The second one I will set to 12. Third, I will set to 2. And the fourth I will set to 32. I'm going to leave the trigger threshold and the pulse width modulation frequency. Uh, as the defaults. The relay output is done by sending a pulse width modulation output 0 for off and 255 for on. The trigger threshold is used to determine uh, on and off. Over the trigger value is on. Under the trigger value is off. So now we're going to save the changes. Now let's jump over to X lights and continue the setup there. I've opened up X Lights and I'm on the Layout tab. I've already created four single channel relays and four 100 pixel strands. Let's first look at the relay model and configuration. The relay is represented as a single line model with the lights slash string set to one. You will also need to set the string type to single color, which is only one channel. And that setting is in the string properties menu. For this demo, I set the pixel style to square and the pixel size to 30. And those settings are in the appearance menu. Next, let's go over to the controllers tab. I'll press the Discover button to find my dig quad. This may take a second. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it found my FPP, FPP main. Uh, don't, we don't need it for this demo, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Here is my dig quad. I will go over and change the ID to 1, something I like to do, and then I will set the description to uh, dig quad. Okay. And next, we're going to take a look at the visualizer by pressing the visualize button. I will assign the single line, um, the single 100 pixels to outputs 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then for the relays, I will assign to port 5 all of them. So I will daisy chain the four relays to output port 5. We'll go ahead and close this. We'll go ahead and save. And then we'll move over to the layout screen. And notice it's assigned the dig quad to the controller. 
And notice these are only one channel. See, it says 1201, 1201. Okay, let me save this. Next, we'll move over to the sequencer. I've already created a 20 second sequence to demonstrate both the four strands of pixels and the four relays being controlled by the big quad. I'm going to enable my video. For this demo, I've set my camera to focus on the relay board and not so much on the pixels. I don't have any props or load loads connected to the relays, but you'll be able to see the red LEDs turn off and on that controls the relays. Let me start my video. Okay, my video is started. Let me enable the output. Output is enabled. Let me select a region to replay. Okay, try to get most of it in here. Now, as soon as I hit the replay button, we should see something happen. And we do. Relay one and three are turned on. Next is two and four. Next is all four relays on. Next is 1 and 3, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. Go through this one more time just to let you see it. It's a very simple, simple sequence. Uh, nothing extravagant here, but it does show the relays and lights being controlled at the same time. As we just saw in the demo, with my simple sequence turning off and on relays and controlling the pixel simultaneously, the power of the relay feature that's been added to ES Pixel Stick firmware now opens up many possibilities. Now you can incorporate relay control into your display using Quinn LED hardware, either the Dig Quad or the Dig Uno, and control it with X lights. Another benefit is this all can be done over Wi Fi. Remember, the secret sauce was setting the last output to relay option and configuring the relays to the correct GPIO pins. Then, in X-Lights, model the relay as a single strand with one light, making sure to set the string type to single color, which will configure it for one channel. This was a fun and challenging tutorial for me as I didn't have an immediate need to control relays, but now, with everything working, I'm sure they'll find a use for relay control in the near future. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from it. If you did and would like to see more tutorials like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel, The Christmas Light Guy. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. All you have to do is press the subscribe button.